Alrighty, we'll start with in person questions first. Hello, everyone, first. All right, anyone can start. Coach's traffic changed in your 25 years from being here. <laughs> That's a great first question. No. <laughs> It is not. It looks like it got a little worse, but it's okay. It's the New York City. It's the grind. Where did you like live when you were when you were here? Like what? Well, I'm not here? telling anybody that. <laughs> <laughs> but I still live here. <laughs> do you have like a favorite? Um, I don't know, like food spot or something that you go back to from your time here? I, you know, I, I did. I, I would always come back and go to Sidious. Uh She was uh, very special to me. She uh, cradled me when I got here and. Uh, unfortunately, she's no longer here, but I still remember her goodness and the things that she shared with me, and I'm, I'm really close to her family as well. well what are you, what are you doing? Uh, this time they're going to be a head coach going against this team, which is you're associated with. Well, um, I mean, you all know I played here, so of course it's um, it's different, it's different. But yeah, this is basketball. I have to keep in mind what we came here for. Um, this place is uh, very special to me, always will be. Um, they've treated me with such kindness and generosity from day one of me entering into this place in 97. Uh, and it has been the same from that day until this day. So I'm, I'm thankful and I'm grateful uh, for the love that's given. And it's definitely given right back. I throw it right back at them because I, I love every one of them tremendously, from the fans to this organization. Chief Spoon, before you became coach of the sky, you know, you would be at Liberty Games quite often, and I'm just curious how you, so the team, the Liberty, they've come back into cultural relevance, and so I'm just curious how you reflect upon that fact and the similarities, you know, that you see when it comes to the product and the, the fan experience, like when you compare now to when you were playing at the Garden. I really don't like to compare. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not one who likes to compare because I, I definitely played in a, a total different arena. Sure. I played in the garden. They, they've experienced playing here in, in Barclays, so that's, that's a totally different feel. Um, but when I take a look at the way the fans are, are supporting them, that's, that does bring up about a huge memories um, of how it was for us. You know, we could walk into the arena getting ready to play and it was just packed. You know, fans are going crazy. And you got that same thing here, and they have their, their towels waving, and uh, everyone gets excited about what's going on. And it's great to see. It's great to see this across the board uh, with people supporting women's basketball and what we do. Coach, you were able to see LA in this market, and now you're reunited with her as her head coach. What can you say about what Lindsay Allen has, has been able to do this early in the season and how she's grown since your first touch point with her in your career? That's the thing. There's growth. You know, as the years go and you've played in so many different areas and so many different teams, so many different philosophies, uh, you grow and your game begins to grow. And her game has grown uh, because she, she's evolved with the game. And that's the most important thing. She's an incredible leader, incredible forward general, uh, knows this game very well, knows her, her, the players that she's playing with very, very well. Um, she's really grown and her game has expanded, and that's a huge piece um, for Lindsay to put out on the floor. It's, it's always been a threat. No matter what she does, she's incredible with, with facilitating, but she knows how to inject herself. And was able to speak to Elizabeth Williams today. She, she talked about the, the road stretch that the team has had being important for building an identity and a culture. Is that something that you kind of give the players, especially the veterans, kind of uh, – responsibility over? Is there anything that the coaching staff does to kind of get this team to where you think they can be this early in the season when it comes to culture and, and camaraderie? Well, as coaches, we do it in, in practice. We we make sure that what we expect and all those expectations are demands on it. Uh, we do that in practice. The great thing is when they walk off that floor, you see them together. Uh, the better leadership and um, everyone's following that leadership. It's great to see so as coaches, um, it's probably one of the best things that you could watch is to see them grow in that way. And you can grow off the floor, trust me. When you step on the floor, there's a sense of protection. There's a sense of trust. There's a sense of confidence in each person on that floor. And that's when you build and grow and elevate to be the team you want to become. And then finally from me, where do you think uh, a game against a team like the New York Liberty, how will that be won? What things does the Chicago Sky need to do to, to be able to control the game the way you'd like to? Well, we want to focus on ourselves. You know, we focus on ourselves and our growth and what we have to do to come in here to give ourselves an opportunity, to give ourselves a chance. That's the most important thing. We recognize who they are. We recognize what they've done and how um, there's such great veteran leadership there and there's a lot of experience there. 
Uh, so we know we have to really take care of the ball. We know we have to defend well, rebound well. So it's almost like we want to be flawless. You know, that, that's just sending it to another level. We want to be flawless to give ourselves an opportunity. How much is a game like this um, a measuring stick for, for where your team is at? I mean, they all are, but this is the undefe an undefeated Liberty team that, that made it to the finals last year. Well, it definitely will tell you where you are. You know, this is a great basketball team. Um, you got great leaders over there, great great athletes, tremendous athletes. They're, co they're, they're coached well. Uh, so it will tell you where you are, you know, in, in many aspects of the game. So uh, I don't really like using measuring stick either, but uh, – uh, it will definitely tell you where you are because this is a hell of a basketball team, and we know they made it to the finals. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm sure there's a hunger. You know, a hunger lies there for you when you get there. It doesn't end the way that you want it to. There's a hunger in them that wants to get back there, and they know what it takes to get there. So then it's up to us to make sure we're following it and watching it. We're paying attention to it, so we make sure we get ourselves in order to be able to get there as well. Coach, um, well, first of all, Kenny from NYLF TV. I've got a chance to personally congratulate you, um, you know, for being the coach of the Chicago Sky. Thank you. It looks great on you. Um, first of all, you obviously have deep roots with the New York Liberty. Is there any emotions or memories that come to the forefront for you or any favorite memory of being a part of the New York Liberty theater? Every time I step in here. I mean, it is what it is. When you step in here, you feel it. This is where you play. This is where you poured every single thing you have in you. It was not in this gym. But it was in that uniform. You poured everything out that you had in you. So of course there's emotions there. Um, I love this organization. I love these people here. Uh, they've given me nothing but great support and great love. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cherish that for the rest of my life. Um, it just so happens to be I'm, I'm in a different uniform. I'm, I'm, I'm on the other side. Uh, they know I'm a competitor. Everybody in here knows who I am. They know how I approach the game. So there's no difference. I'm approaching the same way as a coach. Hey, Coach, first time here, like you said, the fans have shown you tons of love throughout the years once you stepped in Barclays Center. And of course, you're in the ring of honor. I'm just wondering if there are any candidates in your head, any few, any of past Liberty members that could go in the ring of honor in the future? Every one of them. <laughs> Every one of them. <laughs> Every one of them I play with, I'm telling you, we can go. Um, and that's just a great deal of respect for who they are and who they, what they mean to me because I, I couldn't be there without them. This isn't tennis, this is basketball. So we do this thing together. And the only reason I'm in there is because of them. I couldn't catch it and shoot it and get myself an assist. They did all of that. They did all that to help me get in there. So for me, I would say every one of them. Coach, what do you believe are the qualities of a great rebounder, and what do you see an angel? Rebounder? It's a knack. It's just a knack. You just know where to be, how to be, and you're hungry for a rebound. You know, you, it, that's, you just, she's just relentless. She, there's a relentless pursuit for the ball, and that's who she is. That's what she's about. Uh, it's about positioning yourself, and then also it's a study too as well. Who's shooting the ball? Where does it go? It's a study that you have to go through to know how to be an incredible rebounder, and she studies it. Coach, you mentioned her being relentless. When was the first time you got a glimpse of that? Was it in practice and games? No, way before she got here. Okay. Before she got here, I mean, um, of course, our eyes were on her in the draft, so we knew exactly what she brought to the table. You know, rebounding the way that she does. Um, and how efficient she is in doing so, you know, that carries over because that's who you are. It carries over to the next level. She understands that there's levels to this thing. Um, she puts the work in. She puts the work in. What other special qualities did you see within her? She puts the work in. She's a competitor. She's a winner. She want to win. And she's adding to her game. She's adding. And one thing about her, it's not, that's not a kid who cares about scoring. She cares about winning. And that's a process. There's a process in winning. It is not just about scoring, it's not just about rebounding, it's all aspects of the game. And she wants to get that done. Coach, you've seen the growth of this league from when you first came in and the league was first started to now. Is it nice that finally people seem to be paying more attention to the sport that you obviously given so much to? It, it, it is overwhelming. It's, it's a beautiful thing to see when people talking about it. I don't care how you're talking about it, they're talking about us now. It's a beautiful thing. You have to give a, every one of our girls who's played, and you, we understood we played starting to play this game. We started playing America. We understood the magnitude of it all and what we had to do to keep it alive. And as you see, everybody who's been a part of this league, they've done their job to keep this alive. And now look at where we're going. We have people with eyes upon us and they recognize that we're pretty damn good at playing this game. Going on with that, what was the experience like coming here uh, by charter flight? Why? <laughs> <laughs> how, 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 how did that compare to you know, the way you moved during your playing days and especially, you know, having seen the difference between your playing days here and the level 
level of travel and accommodations you're able to get when you were with dogs? The great thing is I've had a chance to do it all. So um, to see them experience it is great. You know, it doesn't have anything to do with me. I mean, I could care less. I'm, I'm easy going. Uh, but when it comes to them and to see them um, get these things and be able to experience these things, and it's not just given, it's earned. You know, and that's the one thing we talk about all the time with our team is we're going to earn everything that we get. And it's so good to see how happy they were to be flying charters. Sometimes they need a break to a little piece. Thank you. Coach, uh, Angel is very adamant about sharing her off the court success with her teammates. How has that been beneficial to what you're trying to build in Chicago? I think that says a lot about who she is. She isn't in it just for herself. She's in it for everybody. And she's going to bring her teammates along. I don't know if you guys saw, she came in and brought all of us gifts, every one of us. She didn't, she didn't leave out a person. Um, and it means a lot, especially when you can step off the floor and you're doing these things together the way that they do. It, it, it's big, it, it, it's huge for you down the stretch of understanding each other, getting to know each other's why. Why do you do this? Why do you love this so much? It is so good to be able to sit down and be uh, having those type of conversations with each other. It carries right over to the floor. What, what have you learned about her then that maybe you didn't back in you know, early March or before you got to, to start to That's a lot. It's a lot. I, yeah. I mean, it's like we, none of us knew each other. So it's a lot that I, I'm learning. I'm learning a lot about every one of them. There's some incredible stories uh, behind each lady. Incredible stories. And those stories matter to me. Those stories matter. Uh, the relationship matters more than the X and O. Way more than the freaking X and O. The relationship. If I have that relationship, I can push them as hard as I like because they know it comes from a great place. Uh, Coach, considering the Liberty's current form, how has your strategy prepared versus how you played them um, in the preseason? Uh, that's preseason. Uh, it's different. It's a different approach. Everybody was trying to get their feet on it, get their legs on it, get that chemistry, gain that chemistry. This is a veteran team. Uh, that was then. This is now. So we have to be prepared and ready to go. Any wrap-ups? Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.